Welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Welcome back, Fight Fans. Welcome back. Let's just jump right into it. Now, Kel Brook, Errol Spence, the first fight was amazing. And there's a potential opportunity for a rematch. Now, according to Eddie Hearn and Sky Sports News, basically Eddie Hearn did an interview the other day stating that if Kell Brook gets past his most recent fight and then goes into the Amir Khan fight and gets that fight out of the way, he'd be willing to come to the United States, challenge Errol Spence Jr. for a rematch at 147 pounds. And basically what that means to me is, is that this is just another opportunity for Errol Spence to avoid Terrence Crawford because he does not want that fight. Kell Brook would be a huge fight over over here for Errol Spence Jr. in a rematch and that's a favorable matchup for Errol Spence Jr. and I'll tell you why that's a favorable matchup because if you look at Kell Brook his record stands at 37 wins two losses 26 knockouts and he's been stopped the two times he's lost um the fight the first fight with Errol Spence Jr. I thought the first six rounds I gave him to Kell Brook after that the rest of the fight Errol Spence pretty much dominated because Kell Brook was injured and he also looked like he gassed and that was because he appeared to be a little weight drain. The prior loss and stoppage that he had was to Gennady Golovkin in the fifth round. He's since recovered from both facial fractures from both fights. Uh, he looked pretty good in his last outing against Rebchenka. And that was basically earlier this year. And now he's going to fight a, a Michael Zarafa. And at this point, I'd have to favor Errol Spence. I have to give Errol Spence the credit and upper hand to beat Kell Brook in any rematch. And here's why. Is because Kell Brook has not fought the level of opponents or even at the weight to match Errol Spence Jr. So it's extremely difficult for Kell Brook to get down to 147 pounds. So at this point, he appears to be weight drained. I have no doubt he'll stop Amir Khan. Anybody with a pillow can stop Amir Khan. The, the key is, if you're going to fight Errol Spence Jr., it needs to be at 154. Or you're going to be too weight drained. The key is also is to fight better competition than a Rebchenka and a Michael Zarafa before you come into an Errol Spence fight. It, because that fight is going to be completely different. Neither one of these guys have heavy hands for Kell Brook. Kell Brook is going to be facing a power puncher who's elite to the body. And so... My thing is, if Kell Brook, before he enters that world again against Errol Spence, he absolutely must face different competition. And Amir Khan's not going to cut it. Michael Zarafa and Rebchenka is not going to cut it. And he's not going to be able to do it at 147 pounds. I think Errol Spence gets another victory on Kell Brook if they fight again at that weight. And if he comes in fighting this level of opponents, I have to give Errol Spence Jr. all the credit in the world. And... I, I cannot deny that Errol Spence, in my opinion, would be a heavy favorite. I think Kell Brook will look good in certain rounds. I think he'd come out explosive. And then I think ultimately his his momentum will die out similar as it did in the first fight because he will gas, because he would be weight drained. He doesn't need that energy for an Amir Khan because basically one shot changes the fight for Amir Khan because his chin is so weak. Now, if Kell Brook's fighting you know, Zarafa and Repchenka, he's fighting these guys at 154 pounds, basically. So his last, his most recent two fights are going to be at 154 pounds. And then he's going to move on to Amir Khan at 147. Come on. They're just, it's, he's just not prepared for Errol Spence Jr. at this point. This is a recipe for disaster. If he takes the Errol Spence Jr. fight, he needs to be at 154. He needs to work on his head movement as well because his head movement is lackluster. He gets caught with too many shots from from opponents that, that shouldn't be able to catch you that easy. And so I know, basically, if I look at it, Amir Khan's going to pretty much outbox Kell Brook, at least for the first half of the fight. And I expect Kell Brook to maybe stop uh, Amir Khan mid to late in that fight. But it gets an Errol Spence Jr. I give Errol Spence Jr. all the credit in the world. He's a talented fighter. And I believe he beats Kell Brook again at 147 pounds if they fight again next year. I just don't see Kell Brook having the energy at that weight and facing this level of competition to be mentally prepared for a fighter with elite body punching power. Once again, it's unbiased IBFP.